Hey guys, it's Jeff and welcome back to Pro Guides. This is an all-inclusive video that details every single piece of information that you need to know to be successful in patch 8.22. We're covering every single champion change, including a detailed tier list for each lane that was made by our in-house analysts and partnered pro players. You need to watch every minute of this video, so let's get started. Fiora is doing well in the top lane and is one of the most player skill dependent champions in the game. She doesn't need major changes this patch, so she's getting minor improvements to her lunge target priority. Her lunge will now prioritize her ultimate's vitals over her passive's vitals. This change isn't going to alter Fiora's game plan at all. She's still going to challenge 1v1 duels and look for flank opportunities. Fiora will remain in our top lane A tier this patch. Maokai is the next top laner getting changed to this patch. His E's base max health damage is being increased and the cooldown is being decreased as well. Riot specifically mentioned that this will be a nice bump for jungle Maokai. This change is not going to have a significant enough effect to bring Maokai into contention with how stacked the jungle champion pool is. Maokai was once the face of the top lane a few seasons ago, but he's never found his way back. Maokai is going to remain unlisted in our top lane tier list this patch. It feels strange to mention Victor as the top lane champion, but hey, the stats and results from Worlds 2018 speak for themselves. Victor is quickly ascending in the top lane tier list and Riot has decided to tap the brakes. The first round of nerfs to an emerging champion is always a base damage nerf accompanied with a ratio buff, which will be seen on Victor's Q and R. This change will not have a significant effect on Victor's newfound success and the hype surrounding top lane Victor is completely justified. I strongly encourage top lane players to try him out in a few normal games before jumping into a ranked game with him because he's not as straightforward as he seems. Victor will move into our top lane S tier this patch. The pro guides top lane tier list places Urgot, Scion, Darius, Jax, Irelia, and Victor into the S tier. We usually only place 5 champions in the S tier, but Victor's sudden emergence deserves the breaking of tradition. Other than that, the tier list remains similar to how it was in previous patches. As always, our A tier champions are great choices to add into your champion pool, but please do yourself a favor and pay extra mind to our S tier. These 6 champions are far ahead of the competition, and playing any of these 6 will give you the edge that you need to close out the season. Nunu and Willem's low win and pick rate were thought to be the result of being a new champion. This clearly isn't the case anymore, and it's evident that Nunu and Willem need number tuning. The first buff is to base AD, which is being increased from 57 to 61. The second buff is a huge increase to consumes healing when targeting an enemy champion. Both the base and ratio values are being increased. All things considered, Nunu and Willem will struggle until the end of the season unless more changes are in the works. Nunu and Willump are going to remain unlisted in our jungle tier list this patch. Trundle has been on the receiving end of a few nerfs throughout the season and as a result has become a low tier jungler. Riot is unhappy with Trundle's current state and is reverting a previous nerf to Trundle's Q damage this patch. His Q will have both increased base damage and ratio scaling. This change will feed into Trundle's strength which is his consistent skill kit. However, the jungle meta currently favors explosive high skill cap champions. Trundle is not one of those champions. Trundle will still be a few steps behind most champions, so he won't have a spot in our jungle tier list this patch. As you already know, the jungle tier list has been stacked for the whole season and nothing has changed about that. Our S tier features Graves, Jin Zhao, Kane, Kha'Zix, Talia, and the newest member, Nocturne. He's been creeping up the tier list for quite some time and has finally reached the apex. The A and B tier junglers are also extremely powerful and can be played to great success but lack that consistency that the S tier junglers have. Prioritize learning and picking our S tier champions and you'll be in good shape moving forward. Akali holds the crown of being the most banned champion of League of Legends, surpassing the likes of Irelia, LeBlanc, and Victor. This patch is sending a few changes her way. The first change is the removal of last hit assistance. The second change is a major cooldown increase to her W at early ranks. And the last change decreases the base damage of her ultimate at rank 1 and increases the base damage by the same amount at rank 3. Oddly enough, this change might increase Akali's win rate just because she might slip through to pick bad face. This is going to allow players to properly learn how to play her, and that's why I think her win rate might actually go up. 
Akali will remain in the B tier for both the mid and top lane this patch. LeBlanc is one of the best mid laners to date. She fits the theme of the meta perfectly and is able to carry an entire team by herself. Riot is holding back on direct changes to LeBlanc because they alluded to season 9 changes that will bring her to a balanced state. For the meantime, this patch is going to reduce LeBlanc's base W damage by 10. This is almost nothing, which means that LeBlanc is going to continue her reign over the mid lane. She's going to remain in our S tier for the foreseeable future. The mid lane is about as saturated as the jungle pool at the moment. This means that the tier list is up for personal interpretation. The S tier, however, is close to undeniable across all tier lists. We have LeBlanc, Ari, Cassidin, Irelia, and Talon in the S tier. Some A tier champions like Zed, Fizz, and Lissandra are also doing very well and are poised to make an S tier push as soon as next patch. The main takeaway from this list is that if you're playing any of the champions that you see here, you're doing something right. Pick a handful of the champions on this list to play and you'll surely end the season strong. There were no significant champion changes to AD carries, so let's get right into the tier list. The AD carry tier list has a single major move in the S tier. Sivir has moved from the B to S tier in a single patch. Her pick and win rate has skyrocketed due to the world's meta and has taken Vayne's spot. Our S tier has Kai'Sa, Lucian, Zaya, Sivir, and Jin. Certain A tier AD carries like Draven and Jinx are in niche pick territory, but in the right hands can very well be in our S tier as well. AD carry remains the unique role where player skill, preference, and matchups play a major role in defining tier lists. However, our S tier without a doubt has the 5 most reliable AD carries that you can play in this patch. Pyke has been one of the most unique support champions to ever be released because of his aggressive playstyle. Being a support and having little access to gold meant that Pyke, by design, needs great base ability value. Players took advantage of this and have been rewarded for going with a tanky build. This patch is going to change things for Pyke players. His passive is going to scale heavily off AD and not max health anymore. This changes a significant nerf in the early game and won't be beneficial until plus 60 AD. W will cost less mana and have its base movement speed bonus reduced severely. Additional movement speed will be gained based on lethality. E's base stun duration and mana cost are being reduced and stun duration will now scale with lethality. The last change is to Pike's ultimate which will now scale with lethality as well. It's clear now that Pike players will be greatly rewarded for going with an AD and lethality focused build. Although major changes were applied to Pike, we're still leaving him in our support S tier because of his playmaking ability. The support tier list is featuring a 6th champion in S tier this time around with Rakan. The rest of the S tier remains unchanged from the previous patch with Thresh, Alistar, Nami, Pike, and Morgana. The tier list follows a rule that playmaking support champions are the very best options. The support tier list clearly flavors the 6 champions in our S tier who stand head and shoulders above the A tier champions. Obviously this changes with team compositions and matchups, but for the most part you want to stick with our S tier to get the best results to close out the season. That's it for patch 8.22, apply what you learned from this video into your next game and you're already one step ahead of everyone else. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Stay tuned for our next analysis video and thank you so much for watching.